you gotta call him out or else someone dies. That's how it works. Hi, I'm Atsuko Kotska, and this is Good Advice Not Guaranteed. I'm gonna be reading some questions from people and try to give my best advice as a comedian. My husband suddenly left our vacation because he said he had a work emergency, uh oh, but I overheard him say some sketchy things on the phone. Should I call him out or let it go? You gotta call him out, bro, okay? Sketchy things? Uh, it, that's very general, but I'm assuming already the worst, you know? And if I learned anything from White Lotus, it's... You gotta call him out, or else someone dies. It's two days. Let's not just go into one of these big dramas again, okay? Look, you're not coming back in two days. You know what? You're just, you're full of shit, man. You're very insincere, and I can just tell. You know what? You never look me in the eye, ever. Years ago, I told my trivia team members that I had a master's degree. I don't. As tall as that. Uh, now I'm looking for a new job, and one of the team members keep sending me postings that require a master's. What should I do? Well, I wish I could help you, but I have two masters, so I can't really relate. They are in film and video and creative writing, so. I feel like this is a thing people do a lot, especially when you're a part of a trivia team because you wanna feel like, I'm smart, you know? I'm supposed to be a contributing member of all things information. Well, you just gotta tell the truth. You just have to. I just feel like if there are good team members, teammates, they would understand why you lied. And if they kick you off, great news. There's so many trivia teams out in the world. Just go to a bar, just close your eyes, point at a bar. That's your new, new team. You did got you got everything off your chest and it, it must feel good. I got it off my chest and I still won that night. Trivia? Which is the ex I won a trivia night and that's the extra cherry on the Sunday, I guess. I come from a very old-fashioned family. My stepmom keeps insinuating that my kids aren't my husband's and it keeps causing problems. What should I do? First off, this is there's a lot of apostrophes in this, a lot of possessives. Okay, so your stepmom, who is not your actual mom, married your dad. Okay, your stepmom keeps insinuating that your kids aren't your husband's and it keeps causing problems. Okay, I think I understand. You have a pretty big family. Uh, I don't know. Tell her they are, and that's it. That's that. Do you have to talk to her? Maybe just shut her out. Let her go! Where is duty? Where is sacrifice? She's not your real mom anyways. 